Tonight, NASA's Orion spacecraft is headed deeper into space than any human-rated capsule has ever gone before. After swinging by the moon earlier today, mission managers say their Artemis One moon mission, which lifted off from the Space Coast last Wednesday, is going better than they expected. And Orion is in good shape. They just gave an update minutes ago. The vehicle systems were very clean. We were working uh, only a, a number of funnies in terms of uh, uh, what I would call it a, a, um, a difference from what we expected the vehicle to perform, but none of those were constraints to committing to the distant retrograde orbit. So all of the uh, team members uh, polled as go for the distant retrograde, or, distant retrograde orbit, and then our flight ops team executed the uh, outbound powered flyby uh, earlier today. Orion's moon approach was the first for America in more than half a century. And the pictures that the spacecraft is sending back as it got close were stunning. New 6's Eric Von Anken is at the Kennedy Space Center tonight taking us through the surreal flyby. Yep, NASA pulled off yet another tricky maneuver, and it was incredible to watch. Dipping down towards the surface of the moon to pick up speed, eventually getting so close that if you were on the moon, you could look up and easily see Orion and then shooting off into space. It was the view that NASA imagined for more than a decade. The cameras on board the Orion spacecraft beaming back live pictures this morning of the cratered surface growing bigger and bigger while the little blue marble got smaller and smaller. This is uh, one of those days that you've been thinking about and dreaming about for a long, long time. The view showed the realities and harshness of space, how far the moon really is, more than 230,000 miles from Earth. That's 23 flights from Florida to Australia. And how much blackness surrounds planet Earth, just a dot in our solar system. We're standing by for acquisition of signal. Mission Control in Houston lost communication with Orion, as expected briefly when the capsule passed around the far side, where it made its closest approach, only 80 miles from the lunar surface, to grab hold of the moon's gravitational pull to slingshot it out into deep space 40,000 miles past it. And that's where Orion will stay for the next week to validate its systems before coming home, splashing down in the Pacific on December 11th. And remember, the whole point of this mission is to see if Orion can do what it's designed to do, protect humans in deep space and get them to the moon. That'll happen on the next mission if this one continues to go well. At the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Aken getting results. News 6.